Uh, this is a video of uh, how I built my bandsaw mill. Somebody was wanting to know uh, more detail about how I put it all together, and I'll tell you what I ran into and the problems and all. And uh, well, okay. Well, let's start with the uh, band wheels. These are uh, trailer wheels. That uh, these here are uh, about 27 inches in diameter, and. Uh, Uh, let me, I'll kind of show you how I put that on there. I put this on here. This is a, this side here is a part of a trailer axle I cut off. Let me back up a little bit. And it's, uh, the adjustment, as you can see, it's just got a bolt right through here. Uh, you know, it goes back and forth. This here's a pivot point. And, it just, and this other bolt back here adjusts the tracking. And then this is a two and a half inch pipe right here. And this is three inch with a quarter inch wall. Which makes it, and it's got a weld in it, so I had to grind out the weld. This here piece had a weld in it. You can kind of maybe see it in the video here, I don't know. But I had to grind that out because it's uh, for the weld to go in there. It's welded on the inside. Uh, so that, this here... This whole piece here slides back and forth down this here and this here. And this piece here is, you tighten this up and it pulls the axle this way to tighten up the band. And uh, let's see. And uh, I guess you can, those are the wheels on it, you know, just nothing special or anything. And, uh, let's see, well, let's, let's look at the uh, guides here. They're kind of important thing to have. I, you got to have, uh, let me sit down here and explain it a little bit, how I did this. Okay, these are, you got to have bearings that are good for like 60 miles an hour, because this blade here is supposed to go like, I don't know, it's like, Five or six thousand surface feet per minute. This blade's supposed to travel, which I think is like fifty or sixty miles an hour. And you got these bearings have to be able to go sixty miles an hour. I can't remember what they are, but this one here. Let me show you how I did this one here. This is just this uh, bolt is bigger than the hole that uh, in this angle iron. This is a piece of angle iron, and then this is a piece of angle iron. And as you can see, they're bolted together and this piece here can adjust this way and that way and, and then you can sandwich these two here together to make the blade tight and uh, this here also pivots this here this is a smaller bolt with a bigger hole there that pivots so that you can kind of put a level on this here and make sure that your blade is level on both sides you know level with your deck make sure your log deck is level and then you can put your a level here let me go get a Two foot level here. I think I got one here somewhere that I use. Right here's one. And uh, let's see if it's level. Okay, let's see. Uh, you can't have a tooth that's sticking up, you know. You got okay, that one there looks like it's down. So, so you just make it so your uh, level or your blade is level on both sides. Like that, you can kind of adjust it with this, but you know you need to make sure that your wheels are fairly level without these bearings on here, and also they need to be adjusted from the deck so that you know they're the same height from here to here on both sides. Get that pretty close, and uh, that's how I made the. Uh, blade guides. This is a, a one inch piece of bar stock that I just have a, a bolt through there and you can tighten it up and you know you can tilt it and then, and then it goes through this piece of uh, tubing goes through that tube there uh, which is you know figure that out I hope and uh, 
Let's see, what else is important? Well, you got a... I got a video of uh, how I built the log deck and some of my pieces of metal I've added on. It's all bolted together, the whole log deck is bolted together. And then here's uh, my new improved saw guides here, that you can see here. Uh, I had to add on some metal here to make it so that it's adjustable to the log deck, you know. Set your square 90 degrees. Let me roll this thing out of the way a little. And then kind of see how I uh, got the stops here. And just uh, bolt it on there. And then I got a piece of, uh, this is just a piece of pipe right here. And I got a, I think it's a 7 8 or something, I forget. This has got a one inch hole through it. Nothing fancy. It just goes in there and it locks. I drilled a hole through there for the bolt, for a nut, and the point on the end. Uh, yeah, I got a video of it, how I, I did all that, and then I got a video I told about the log rule, how I made that. And uh, here's my blade adjustment. It's probably not the best, but uh, that's how I do, did mine. It's just an old ratchet handle here. And you can, it just goes over that bolt, tightens this up. And just push it down like that. And that's it on that. And then I got a winch for the up and down. And uh, this one pulley, I had a hand crank, but I got tired of that. I, was, I got this winch here for like less than 80 bucks. So I put it up there. It runs down here. And as you can see, it kind of goes back up. And, I put these garage springs on the side, kind of help it go up and down. I mean, I don't really need them now that I got the electric winch on there, but I left it on there. And uh, what else do I need to explain? Well, here's a, a winch I put on the end there to drag my logs up. I drag them up there because I don't really have a big flat area right here. It's only about 14 foot wide, so I had to drag my logs from the end. And uh, I use this little winch here. It's just one like I use for the head. It's like one of them ones, 80 bucks or less. And, and I just put it on the end. I suppose you could probably use it to uh, load your uh, the thing onto a trailer too. You could probably hook that winch on the end of the trailer and pull your pull log back up there with it probably and uh, uh, this is all built out of scrap metal as you can see it's pretty pitted I mean I don't even know if you could even hardly weld it if it was it's, it was galvanized too you know really really pitted but uh, I don't know if I saved any money by using all that steel used scrap steel this steel here this is uh two and a half inch and this is two inch but it's got a three eighths inch wall which I had to put a shim in there so it wouldn't you know take up some of the slack it wasn't quite the same but I do it all over again I think I would probably buy some of these here and put it on all four corners this is 18 inches from there to there and then then the uh, the wheels there from there to the other end are like three foot and uh, let's see, what else do I need to explain? Well, oh, well, I uh, got this wheel. This is a Ford axle. Here, I got a Ford uh, Ranger axle over here. Another one, and I can show you how it's how I put it together. Let me set this over here. 
Yeah, this is a, like an axle I use. The tire, you know, is on the end. And I uh, put a pillow block bearing right there. And then there's another pillow block bearing there. I'll show it to you here. And you could probably use one for... Oh, well, I got that one there. I might use it on the other side. But uh, as you see in there, I got uh, washers in there to make it the same height as the other wheel. If I would have used the axle on the other side and a pillow block bearing on I think it would have been easier to adjust, but there's that one, there's this one, here's this, this is just a washer that I cut in half that fits in the slot, I'll show you the slot on this axle, I had to drill a hole out on the end of course, the washer fit in there, and I had to drill some holes out and tap them, no big deal on that, and it's got set screws on it, on the back, of this here. You can see these set screws there, right there. You know, set them in there. And uh, I the old gas tank, if anything. And uh, that's kind of a basically how I put this thing together. I I don't know if it's uh, if I explained it very good. Or if, it's, if this video will be very helpful or not, but uh, if there's any questions or anything, just ask me. I'll, I'll try to answer them the best I can. But uh, there you go. That's uh, how I did this. It's all my odds. The only one I've ever built. And I just put was putting it together as I went along, and I, you know, didn't really have any plans or any ideas how I was doing it. So that's a 24 horsepower Honda motor. I found some. Uh, uh, formulas on uh, the internet on how to figure your pulley size and all that for your RPMs. I, I think this is about a 3 inch pulley and this is about uh, an 18 and 3 quarter inch pulley. And for the tires, my tires are 27 inches so it's supposed to be around like 50 or 60 miles an hour. I can't remember right at the moment, you know, but uh, anyway, it works pretty good. I, cut some you know all kinds of wood with it here I got a pile full of wood I'm about getting covered up right now this is a an elm tree there I cut so, eh, poplars cherries you name it some locusts and, but uh, and then I just built this uh, guard around it I guess you could probably build any kind of guard you want around it and the blade is uh, took me a few tries to get the right size blade it came out to be 15 feet and 10 inches so if, if I would have known I think you're supposed to be like even numbers maybe like 16 feet you know everybody makes like 16 feet or 14 feet but yeah, anyhow mine came out to, so if you build one make it you know hopefully you can get it to where the blade would be the right length just easier to find blades. This is an inch and a half blade I got on this. Uh, I forget what kind it is. But, uh, anyway, uh, that's how I built it. And I hope this video is helpful. So, I guess this is the end. Uh, I can't think of too much more to say about it. So, uh, Have a nice day. Bye.